What have you observed from them, Joe? Um, what have you learned? Have they given you any advice? Um, I've mostly observed like what order they put their jersey on. Um, I was with Venditti when he was here earlier, and we created a um, an acronym um, for checking to make sure that we have everything on on our jersey before we go out. Like belt, there was a word, you know, word for B, J for jersey, H, G. Like it was a terrible. It wasn't a actual word it, it didn't work very well but it helped us remember what is the coolest thing seriously what is the coolest thing about being a major leaguer you know honestly i would say, I would say the pants okay why the pants the pants because uh in the minor leagues uh and so you always struggle to find you know pants that fit correctly and uh i just remember you know getting to i mean in spring training they did every year but during the you know during the season i remember getting to the season they had like 12 pairs of pants for me and i was like this is an embarrassment of riches you know and they all they're comfortable and they're long enough and they're you know and i don't know i think i look cute in them so jamie and joe biagini joins us too got into the game late you looking for a little hug looking for a little love Can I get one? tell me about these fans and why the team decided to come back out you guys are battle tested now yeah. Do you think that's, uh, that's well, um, I'm pretty battle tested on like Clash of Clans and stuff like that, so I don't know if that will translate. Sure. I hope it, it it does, but um, yeah, I don't know. I think every team goes through that every year, but I think it's about how the teams come out of it. And I think this team stayed pretty close knit together the whole year, not just because of our uh, crochet classes that we did together, but also just because. They've been through it before. There's a lot of experience. What do you do to keep your composure and your calm when you're in a situation like that? Um, I think about waterfalls sometimes. Just very, very calming. Rainforest sounds. That's what I go to sleep to at night. Joe, you may not be aware of this, but you've become very popular with the fans back in Toronto. What does that mean to you to have that kind of popularity? Do you say popular or unpopular? No, you're you're one of the cool kids. Wow. Well, it's I wish my high school friends could see me now. Um, I, I mean, I, I, what, what is, what, how do you be popular? How do you, what do you, what do you do? What do I do with my hands? <laughs> I think you just be yourself and pitch well. I think that may be the combination that's working. The, the problem is, is when I try really hard to be me, I kind of screw it up. You know, like I don't know how to be myself. When people say, just be yourself, I'm just like, what is what is me? What is I? Word association is not one of my strong suits, so we'll, good luck with me on this one. We'll ease into it then, how's that? E let's ease into it. Get start with an easy one. Marcus Stroman. That's not an easy one. Next. <laughs> Aaron Judge. Ah, he's a large human. I would say divots in the uh, in the outfield because he's probably so big that he, he uh, like, Drops the, the soil level down a couple inches where he, wherever he stands. Ben Scully. Ben Scully. Soothing. That's probably my best word association so far. Harry Carey. Ah. Soothing. Drake. Drake. Um, the rapper. Oh, okay, not my friend from when I was little. Clubhouse uh, institution. As in, he has played in our clubhouse. So, so many, not enough. Taylor Drake Swift. is a very talented. Uh-oh. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. My um, beautiful love interest, slash girlfriend, slash a very astute business person. Aaron Sanchez. Aaron Sanchez. I would say very studly. He throws the, uh, the balls a lot and uh, to the catcher. A lot of times they get to the catcher. Barry Davis. Oh boy. Barry Davis is an inspiring figure to many people other than myself. Is it cold? You enjoying this? It's cold. Yeah, but there's alcohol in it, which is weird. But you don't drink, do you? I don't... Joe, I'm going to let no, you go and enjoy it. Thank you very much. All right, Joe. Dealing with me all season. Yeah, it, my pleasure, Joe. Joe Biagini. Yeah, really all right, big hug, big hug. All right. Yeah. Joe, I think you may have those on backwards, but they look good on you. Are they? Are they backwards? Yes. Are, you ready? Are you gonna open up the champagne bottle? No, I'm just I'm, I'm using it as a as a microphone. I'm interviewing I'm going around interviewing people.
Biagini was selected in the 26th round out of UC Davis to very little fanfare, even in his own house. I think I was in the bathroom, so I had to, and my dad said, hey, you got drafted. And I, so I had the prior uh, engagement to finish up. Thank you so much for doing this. It is always a pleasure to, uh, to talk to you. I would say it was a very unhealthy interview from the beginning, but you held it together. I was going to ask you how you handle pressure situations like this one. Thank you for taking the time. And uh, I will think about being on Twitter for about four and a half minutes, and then I'll probably decide the same thing that, that I have already, which is... Okay, good night. Oh, sorry. Okay, he's got more things to do. Sorry. I'm done.